It's Wednesday, folks. Man, this is going to be a fun day. During the show, it gets crazy in here. Yeah, you break all the rules. If you think you're laying around all summer, you got another thing coming. I thought you were going to lifeguard at the pool again. Dude, that job sucked. All of these jobs suck. The first order of business is to blame everything on the guy before me. Hi, everybody, and welcome to NSS. This is the Reynolds Report. Gwyneth Paltrow does many stupid and obnoxious things, but when she does something with substance, we should mention that as well. Gwynny helped Avengers superfan Ryan Wilcox, who is battling terminal cancer, meet two of his favorite actors. The actress surprised Wilcox with a visit from Robert Downey Jr. and Chris Evans. Paltrow used the power of social media to make Wilcox's dream come true. Earlier in May, she shared the fan's story in an Instagram post, asking her co-stars for their help. Hey, Robert Downey Jr. and Chris Evans, want to take a road trip? I will drive you guys down. Thanks to Paltrow, the Avengers assembled, and Downey and Evans made their way to meet with Wilcox. After strenuous efforts by his attorneys to get criminal charges against him dismissed, entertainer Bill Cosby arrived in criminal court yesterday morning for a preliminary hearing on accusations of drugging and sexually assaulting former Temple employee Andrea Constant in 2004. Cosby smiled and waved as he entered the courthouse and briefly stumbled while walking to the courtroom. The hearing got underway around 9.40 with testimony by former Montgomery County detective Catherine Hart, who read from the statement she took from Constat in January 2005, alleging Cosby drugged and sexually assaulted her. Cosby is facing three counts of aggravated indecent assault, each of which carry a prison sentence of up to 10 years. This epidemic of girls overusing the words like and you know when speaking must be stopped. You're all responsible for teaching your own daughters. This is serious. There's an epidemic, but the time has come to help young women of America stop the overusage of the words like and you know. Like with, you know, the summer coming up and like, you know, just, I think it'll be good, like just having more time and I tell you like what I want, like as far as like spending time with you, because I feel like, I feel like I don't do a good job with that, you know? Like we miss kind of, you know, each other in a lot of ways. Yeah, we know what it's like. Parents, please teach your daughter. There's no use for those words in those sentences. Sadly, there's a generation of young women learning bad habits from the Kardashians. You know, I'm like, you were like 60 pounds off. Like, this is the time when everyone's like, someone's like, go to McDonald's. Like, that's not happening for me. <laughs> Don't let that happen to your daughter. Thank you. A class action lawsuit says that Fitbits are inaccurate. Apparently, the only thing they can measure is how easy it is to get people to buy useless technology. Taco Bell is going to redecorate their restaurants. The look they're going for is the not Chipotle. A new study says Lego products are becoming more violent, but not nearly as violent as Hasbro's new action figure, Jihad Joe. South Korean scientists have invented an ice cream that cures hangovers. So when it comes to this year's Nobel Prize, I think it's safe to say that everyone else is competing for second place. The world's oldest orangutan is dead at the age of 55. That's a long time for an orangutan, but it still wasn't quite long enough for her to see her dream come true of a Donald Trump presidency. Jennifer Lawrence revealed that a few years ago when she was traveling to London, she was held in detention for five hours after she was caught lying to a customs officer. She was caught lying. You know, maybe she's not as good an actress as everyone thinks. Time for Nobody Gives a Fuck. A former bodyguard of Kanye West is spilling all the dirt. He says his former boss would wait until he pressed the elevator button for him. Yes, that's somewhat obnoxious, but not exactly the hottest scandal of the year. Meanwhile, yesterday was Kim and Kanye's second wedding anniversary. Who would have thought that the union of the woman with the biggest ass with the guy who is the biggest ass would last this long? Hey, most hated couple in the world. Nobody gives a f and Justin Bieber went on an Instagram rant about fake celebrities. And if there's anyone who's an expert on fake celebrities, it's someone who got famous from YouTube. Hey, you little twerp. Nobody gives a f
Thanks, everybody. We have a new episode of The Reynolds Report for you every weekday. Be sure to check out The Being Frank Show, starring Frank D'Angelo. Live Tuesdays and Thursdays, right here on NSS.